They carried rivers through the air. But what if I told you this water reached every Roman home? 2,000 years ago, Rome faced a challenge. Millions of people, but no water. So they built a miracle, aqueducts, stone arches stretching for miles, carrying fresh mountain water straight into the city. Engineers, slaves, and soldiers worked side by side, cutting through hills, bridging valleys, and lifting rivers into the sky. But the genius wasn't just in the arches. It was in the system. From aqueducts, water flowed into giant reservoirs. From there, it was divided to public fountains, to the legendary baths, and even to private homes of the wealthy, with lead pipes carrying clean water right into kitchens and gardens. And Rome didn't stop there. They thought about what came after. Beneath the city ran the Cloaca Maxima, one of the world's first massive sewer systems, washing waste away into the Tiber. Rome turned stone into rivers, rivers into life, and water into power.